Madam Speaker, you know, at, at first, for the first couple of days, uh, you know, I thought I, I have to leave this to the leaders. I know, I know our our mayor, Mayor Tory, well enough to know that he will he will speak on our behalf, and uh, and Councillor Layton has now as well, and and uh, um, and I I knew that the Prime Minister and the Premier would as well, and okay, and you know, I need to take action, but but the biggest statement has been made. But the, the thing that shocks me most about this is how young the perpetrator was, how very young. This is not something we're going to grow out of. And I thought, are there actions I can take? And I was talking to a member of my staff who is Muslim, and, and all of us have this experience. Our, our staff, in, in all 25 of us, and the mayor's office as well, our staff are very diverse. They reflect Toronto. And but they're on the other end of a phone line often as not, and they hear um, racist tone, they hear racist conversation, and they they soldier on through it. And I think our policy has to expend, extend to our own office. We have to be willing to say, we're gonna call it out, even if it costs us a vote. Someone phones our office, and you know, ask them what their name is. Can I know your last name, please? As if they're trying to ferret out what your your particular diversity might be before I give you my concern. We have to we have to have a policy on the second floor and throughout this building that we're going to call it out and say, I'm sorry, uh, this conversation is taking on a racist tone, which means I'm going to have to take a break from it. Those are my instructions. That is our policy. Um, because it is not our role. We don't swear an oath to serve racism. We swear an oath to serve people with their municipal concerns. And racism is one of them. So we are, the only way we serve that is to stamp it out. Not to keep shtum when we hear it and not call it out. We didn't swear an oath to do that. And so I thought to myself, even if I don't move a motion, I can do that. We can all do that. And I'm willing to do that. If I offend somebody and he says, you know, how dare you say that to me? I might never vote for you ever again. If we're all of us committed to the other parts of this motion that we are, that we are going to make strong statements against racism and everything we do, then, then that's a vote we don't have anyway. That's a person who might not even engage in government. But the people who want us to engage in ending this kind of behavior expect us to call it out at every opportunity the person standing beside us in the gym, calling our office, whatever. And that we can do every day, every single day in our work. Thank you, Madam Speaker.